Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a little build, no, I'm not, uh, sort of a tutorial. I mean, it's not going to be fully in-depth, it's going to just be a quick glance of the build of my ZMR X210, this kit I bought from FPV Model. You might have seen my unboxing of these parts. And you can see I have everything just laid out here in a big mess um, right from the unboxing. And I'm just going to go over setup. And the reason I'm not going super in-depth in this video is because this kit, these motors and everything is fairly high quality, um, pretty powerful. And if you can't build one, I would not recommend this as your first build. But I will try and give some insight for anyone looking to build it. So let's get to the first part, which will probably be attaching um, your motors to your arms and then soldering on your ESCs. So let's start with that. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I have completed um, screwing on and loctiting the motors. I basically just used the four screws and used some uh, blue loctite. Like I said, this is sort of just a quick overview because if... Um, you don't know how to build, you shouldn't be doing this um, type of build, obviously. And now next, I'll mount the ESCs, and I think I might be, um, I might mount them directly on the arms here. Um, I know it doesn't look as good, but um, as for putting them inside and using that um, tubing or sleeving, I don't know if there's if there will be enough room um, to put them inside, and it'll be pretty tight in there with the boards and stuff, and then the camera receiver and video transmitters, so I think I'm going to put them on the arm. So I'll come back when I have that part done. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I have two out of these three ESCs done. Let's try and move these in the light a little. As you can see, um, this one is going to spin counterclockwise, so I um, wired it up with the um, reverse wiring, and this one I have uh, straight across for clockwise, and I'm just going to leave these on the arms. I don't think I'd be able to fit them Oh, not too comfortably within the frame. I mean, as you can see, I have the other two. I don't have the ESCs on yet because I was uh, testing out the frame and how it gets together. So I'll finish that, and then I'll go over how it fits together once I have that done. Okay, here we are back again. As you can see, I've made some pretty rapid progress, and it now definitely is starting to look like a quad. Um, so basically, all I did was I took the motors, and I wired them up to the ESCs, and then put some heat shrink over that just to protect it a little bit more. And then I used a little zip tie included from the package to um, strap them all down. And I put the little nubs inwards. So if, uh, I don't know, it's just easier, I think, and more uniform. And basically, I assembled the frame here. And now that was a little tricky to figure out at first because there are no um, instructions. Um, I couldn't find any online. So basically, all I had to do was the arms. Here's all the screws from the bottom. Um, these little pieces here, they line up with the holes as well as this piece in the middle. And there are two lengths of screws in the bottom. Um, there's there's long screws and there's a, a shorter, a little bit shorter one and a longer one. I couldn't figure out what they were for a while until I realized that because you can build this, um, you can build it with just a single plate. That is why, because that um, the screws are just a little bit longer to allow for the extra plate thickness. So you put them through there, then you just screw that all up basically. And now I'm going to add these standoffs and these little spacers up here. After I add the power distribution board on the middle, you just put it on there. Um, after you put these little circle ring spacers um, over it, there's just little rings, you put it over it so it doesn't short anything out. And then you screw it down through with um, these little standoffs, and then the board screws on top of that. So I'll uh, do the next part, probably uh, get a couple things done here, and get this um, stuff wired up, get my battery connector on, and I'll come back with the next part. Okay, here we are back again. As you can see, I now have the uh, power distribution board installed and all wired up here. See, I just um, used a little Maytech PDB and put it on the supplied standoffs and just wired the ESCs up to that real quick. So now basically the next step is completing the tower using um, the flight controller. And then obviously I'll put my receiver in the back probably and my camera up front and I'll come back when I have that part done. Here we are back once more and real quickly I'll just uh, go over what I did since the last um, video portion. So basically, I have my tower of power sort of installed here, which is the PDB, then the flight controller here. And now the ESCs, I just wire them up to the, the PDB underneath here. As you can see, it kept it all very clean in the middle there. 
Um, however, for the board, you cannot use the pins, at least not straight up pins, maybe right angle ones, because you see it's too tall. I made the mistake of putting pins on there, so I had to um, de-pin everything, so that took a while. You can see all the solder over here. And basically, then I just cut the um, connectors off and soldered them directly to all the ports here. So basically, and then I've added all these standoffs, and now these little rings here, these little spacers, they were a little hard to get in there. Um, because everything's just sandwiched in the air afterwards, a little hard, but I did manage to get them in. Uh, I did scratch them, as you can see there, having to hold them with pliers with that one there. Um, but overall, everything's coming together fairly well. Some of the holes, um, the machining is just a little bit off, but I managed to get it to work, and everything's working relatively well, well so far. And because this board is made to um, accept a S-Bus signal, right away I um, have ordered a FreeSky X4R something like a SB, S bus. Um, so I have to wait for that to come in. Um, obviously you guys won't in the video, but that will connect just over here on these three pins marked S bus over here. Actually it's, yeah, it says S bus, these three on the bottom. So I think next I'll probably, um, give power to my flight controller and install my video camera and video transmitter in the back and I'll just see what else there is to do because this build is looking pretty good so far and starting to get wrapped up. So let's wait for the next part. Okay, here we are back again, and I am now all finished with the build here. Once again, sorry that I couldn't show very much as in terms of a build video. Just a quick overview because um, it got a little out of hand. Um, I got um, a lot of stuff done off camera, and then I just got caught up in the build and just basically finished it. Um, but I put some um, DALT 5045 um, propellers on here, and they do fit. You can see pretty close call there but they do fit five inch propellers um and i built the little um angled mount that um comes with well it doesn't come with it but it's about seven dollars extra little carbon mount and i put my run cam on there um the strap hole doesn't really let you get it in there well so it's kind of angles up a little bit um but i measured it and it is 30 degree angle and it's on there well i put some foam under it and also you can see i put foam down here for the battery i put my antennas just coming up the back here like that and just mounted my FreeSky X4R SB S bus receiver in the back here. Basically, that just comes up like there, with the antenna coming up through that hole. And the camera is up here. Everything's at 30 degree angles. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so I will have a review, um, you know, some flight footage, line of sight flights, and then some FPV recordings. Maybe some DVR footage if I can get that to work. I'm coming up soon, but that was the end of the video. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.